Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a very special and rare bottle here on my cask. It's an Octomore Melange, or how it's called, I'm not quite sure. It's 46% ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored, and it's with the Renegade series. Renegades, yes. Um, why Renegade? Um, this Octomore is produced, or was produced, by the Brichelletic Distillery on the Isle of Isla, and the Brichelletic Distillery was sold in the year 2000 from the Jim Beam Company to a consortium of 60 or 61 individuals and they bought the distillery um, and uh, restarted it from the mothballing and produced whiskey from Christmas Eve 2000 until I think it was 2013 or 2012 and then they sold it uh, to the big global company of Rémy Cointreau. Um, the old management or the proprietors moved out, so did Marc Renier. I think he was the one who owned uh, most shares of the distillery and who was the marketing head behind the new Brichletic distillery. And uh, as in former times, uh, the management and the directors were rewarded with their own casks as a bonus. So there had been the old distillery managers from McKellen or from Springbank. Uh, they got their casks and f uh, bottled them uh, in a very easy way and sold it. And those bottles I like most because the distillery managers and directors, they know where the best places are, where you put the casks to mature in the best way. Uh, they also know which casks were excellent and which were mediocre. <laughs> so it's always good uh, to have somebody with a background wisdom. So these uh, bottles are now sold after the distillery was sold to Remy Cointreau and therefore it's called Renegade. Uh, MBRPT1, I don't know what that means. Marc Renier's Bespoke Bottling, Octomore Melange, Super Heavily Peated, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 161.5 ppm peat level. This is heavy. We know it from the Octomore uh, <clears throat> bottlings that they started with 135, 147, and then up to 167 with the Octomore 04.2 Commu bottling with 61% ABV. And this is also six years old and was matured in American and French oak. And French oak means uh, Sauterne from the Chateau de Chem. It's a sweet white wine, a dessert wine uh, from the Bordeaux region. Um, and out of these casks came 753 bottles and this is 387 I have here in my hands, 46% ABV. <clears throat> So it has less alcohol content than the official Octomore, which was also uh, uh, finished in those Sotern casks, uh, but was bottled in cask strength uh, in these yeah, beautiful looking uh, fancy bottles, all uh, colored, different colors, uh, white, black, red, and whatever they had. I got this sample from the distributor himself and it's uncolored, quite golden, not too dark for six years. Um, so I'm not quite sure whether the uh, American oak was first, first fill or not. <clears throat> yeah, heavily peated, but not four times as strong as an Artbeck or Lagavulin is. No, it's less. 
there's a non-linear uh, detection of peat or smoke in your nose and uh, whenever the peat level rises very much you can't be able uh, to detect or to smell it really in this intenseness. There's some fruitiness in the back but the peat is dominant in front. It's quite stinky. <laughs> uh, I'm not very... I'm not a friend of very heavily peated whiskey. So with 40-50% ABV from Isla South Coast, that's enough for me. So Port Charlotte from the Buchleti Distillery is okay, but an Octomore is far over the top for me. Hmm. Intense, strong, pretty. Spiciness from the wood, from the French oak, from the Sauterne cask. Very faint, distant sweetness from the Sauterne wine. So heavily peated. It's like kissing an ashtray. Oh. No, nothing from my mother's son. No, not at all. And now a, a very weird smell is appearing. Oh. Very often peat level rise if you add water because the aromas are driven out of the solution by adding water. <clears throat> Let's have a taste with this Strathmore original Scottish water I brought with me from my last visit in Scotland. Even more stinky than before. And fruitiness in the back. <laughs> this is the positive side. Well, no. Um, that's too much of smoke for me. It won't be easy to get your fingers on this bottle because Marc Renier sells these bottles only to a few markets worldwide and I'm not sure which these markets are. Um, because he do not want to uh, compete with the Octomore brand itself. I think he's willing to let the distillery go its own way, but uh, to sell his own casks with a decent revenue and profit. And uh, this bottle is really expensive. We talk about 300 euros a bottle. Yeah, quite expensive. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Feel free to discuss this <laughs> special whiskey with me on our newly opened forum on whiskey.com. And feel free to share this video with your friends.